I'm a nursery teacher and every week I'm reading a story to help children get through this very strange time that we're going through. Now today I have one of my friends here. This is Susie. Now Susie has one long trunk, two big ears and she's grey. I wonder if you can guess what animals are, are involved in our story today. What animal are you Susie? <gasps> Do you think they got it right? Yeah I think they did too. Okay you're right this story is all about elephants. Now my friend Susie here, she likes to eat leaves, she likes to eat grass, she likes to eat some trees, but Susie also has a favourite special treat. Now Susie's favourite special treat is cake. Do you like cake? I like cake. Chocolate cake is my favourite. And in today's story, they like cake too. Okay, so I'm just going to sit Susie down here. There you go Susie. Today's story is called A Piece of Cake. Now, I feel like there might be some exercising involved in this story. Um, I have actually also been outside and done some exercise, hence why I am now dressed in my workout gear as well. But it fits in with the story, so it's all good. Okay, here we go, a piece of cake. I'm fat, said Mrs. Large. No, you're not, said Lester. You're our cuddly mummy, said Laura. You're just right, said Luke. Mummy's got wobbly bits, said the baby. Exactly, said Mrs. Large. As I was saying, I'm fat. Oh, by the way, if you hear a buzzing, there's a big bumblebee in here. I've opened the window to try and let him out, but he doesn't want to fly out right now. I think he wants to listen to the story too. We must all go on a diet, said Mrs. Large. No more cakes, no more biscuits, no more crisps. No more sitting around all day. From now on, it's healthy living. Well, I think Susie might be a bit sad because Susie really likes cake. Can we watch TV? asked Lester as they trooped in from school. Certainly not, said Mrs Large. We're all off for a nice healthy jog round the park. And they were. What's for tea, Mum? asked Laura when they arrived home. Some nice healthy watercress soup, said Mrs Large followed by a nice healthy cup of water. Oh, said Laura, that sounds nice. I'm just going to watch the news, dear, said Mr. Large when he came in from work. No, you're not, dear, said Mrs. Large. You're off for a nice healthy jog around the park, followed by your tea. A delicious sardine with grated carrot. I can't wait, said Mr. Large. Oh, he doesn't look very happy about going on his job, does he? It was awful. Every morning there was a healthy breakfast followed by exercises. Then there was a healthy tea followed by a healthy job. By the time evening came, everyone felt terrible. Like they're all sleepy. We aren't getting any thinner, dear, said Mr. Large. Perhaps elephants are meant to be fat, said Luke. Nonsense, said Mrs. Large. We mustn't give up now. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, went the baby. One morning a parcel arrived. It was a cake from Granny. Everyone stared at it hopefully. Mrs. Large put it into the cupboard on a high shelf. Just in case we have visitors, she said sternly. Mmm, that cake looks delicious. What do you think, Susie? Mmm, tasty, tasty. Everyone kept thinking about the cake. They thought about it during tea. They thought about it during the healthy jog. They thought about it in bed that night. Mrs. Large sat up. I can't stand it anymore, she said to herself. I must have a piece of that cake. Mrs. Large crept out of bed and went downstairs to the kitchen. She took a knife out of the drawer and opened the cupboard. There was only one piece of cake left. Aha, said Mr. Large, seeing the knife. Caught in the act. Mrs. Large switched on the light and saw Mr. Large and all the children hiding underneath the table. There is one piece left, said Laura in a helpful way. Mrs. Large began to laugh. We're all as bad as each other, she said, eating the last piece of cake before anyone else did. I do think elephants are meant to be fat, said Luke. I think you're probably right, dear, said Mrs. Large. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, went the baby. And that's the end. Really, really hope that you enjoyed this week's story. As it happens, elephants are my favourite animal. 
I don't know if you can tell, but actually on my workout top today, there is an elephant on there as well. Um, I would like to say a massive thank you to my wonderful niece for filming this week's video again. Um, I'd like to say hello to all my nursery children. I hope you're all staying safe and I will see you next week. Have a lovely half term. Bye!